Islamic leader claims Mossad used a prostitute to kill historic imam. So if you know me, you know why I am excited about this, because there's nothing I love more than some Shia Islamic conspiracies. <laughs> okay. In a startling assertion, a radical Iraqi Shia leader, Qais al uh, Khazali publicly claimed that the Israeli Jewish intelligence agency utilized a woman, Katam, to organize the assassination of Imam Ali, the first Shia imam in the 7th century. al Ghazali claimed, <laughs> sorry, this is so funny to me, it is either through money or through women, right? In this case, it was a woman. There is no doubt that she worked for the Israeli Mossad back then, and through her, they recruited a Mamali's killer. <laughs> what? <laughs> He also accused the Jews of being responsible for the deaths of Imam Ali's sons, uh, Hussein ibn Ali and Hassan ibn Ali. Furthermore, he provocatively stated that the Umayyads were collaborators with the Jews, insinuating that the, <laughs> that the Jews collaborated with the Umayyad dynasty and used women to carry out assassinations against the Prophet Muhammad's holy progeny. <laughs> <sighs> Does he not know? Wait, I don't understand. Is he serious? Does he not know when Imam Ali lived and when Mustad started? Am I missing I mean, something here? Maybe like Mustad goes like, back Musa? like further than we even know. No, I thought you're gonna say maybe the Mustad has found how to make a time machine. I mean, I if we have the, space uh, lasers, like, why can't we have time machines? Yeah, I think, like, I think maybe Mossad has, like, the Israeli government has the technology to go back in time, and that's how they killed Imam Ali. Is that what he's saying? I don't understand. Is this guy serious? Like, did he actually say that? Like, what? and he wasn't joking? Yes. Here, we, we can go watch oh, the okay. clip if we want. Yeah, I do want to, because I don't believe this. I mean, they're stupid, but not this stupid. Are they this stupid? I don't know. It's so oh funny. Oh my god. We have the video. Okay, we have to watch it. Wait, Should I watch it. it on Twitter or here? Uh, I think it'd be better on Twitter because then you can actually see the subtitles more. Okay, hold on. Let me get this up. How do we do this? <laughs> Oxymoron is saying, Islam is diverse. It has a lot of points of view. <laughs> 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 wait okay hold on actually let's let, for people who don't understand what is happening here let's do a fact check okay we're talking <laughs> about the first imam ali the first imam of um Sh shias that's what yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. to get this clear okay okay so okay let's do a fact check first before okay so this is imam ali's wikipedia page okay so imam ali uh Reigned okay, when is he died? Okay, died in 661, January 661. Okay, this is Imam Ali. Okay, so let's look at the Musad. Musad was formed in 1949. Okay, so unless sure? Musad had are we sure about that? Okay, I mean we could search if we have if there's any suspicion that Musad has a time machine in one of the Wikipedia page. But now let's go see and look at here and see what this guy is saying. While you do that, I'm going oh, to go to the me... bathroom quickly. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Al Yahud, Al Yahud. So he's saying, oh, Al Yahud, Al Yahud, he's saying the Jews, the Jews, the Jews. Oh, he says it six, three times. Al Yahud, Al Yahud, Al Yahud. <laughs> See, they assassinated Hassan, the son of Imam Ali. Oh my God. Okay, so that's. <laughs> and they did this by using a woman. <laughs> the Umayyads were mere collaborators with the Jews. 
اكثر من عملاء لدى اليهود ثم اغتالوا Then they assassinated Imam Hussein. I thought it was Yazid that assassinated Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein. It was the same perpetrators, only they use different people. So this is, by the way, I, I am an ex-Shia. This is not at all in line with Shia ideology. This guy is just making up stuff. It was Yazid. It was the Umayyads who killed uh, Hassan and Hussein. I mean, Hassan was killed by his wife, but okay. Hussein was killed by Yazid. Qatam uh, was a prostitute. What has been the, what is this? Modus operandi of the Israeli Jewish Intelligence Agency. Oh, okay, I get what he's saying. What do we know about them? How do they get their sources? It is either through money or through women, right? In this case, it was a woman. By the way, YouTube, we're not saying these things, okay? This guy is insane, and we're just like pointing out that he's insane. There is no doubt that she worked for Israeli Mossad back then. Okay, I okay, that's insane. I thought we have are we are being uncharitable. I thought like, okay, let me defend this mullah. I was like, there's no way he's saying it was Mossad. I thought he's like saying it was the same line of thinking it was the same methodology that they use the jews used back then they're using the same right. methods today right. that's right. why i thought like okay that's we're putting words in this guy's mouth we're being no. unfair he probably didn't he probably didn't say it was actually musad so he's saying but he is actually saying that he's saying there is no doubt that she worked <laughs> for the israeli musad back then okay let's be charitable Maybe he's saying for the equivalent of Israeli Mossad back then. How about that? I'm trying to be charitable to this, to yeah. this anti-Semite. Should I be charitable to this anti-Semite? <laughs> this anti-Semitic motherfucker. <laughs> Does this guy deserve charity? I don't know. You, don't that's a good that. point. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so they recruited a Mamali's killer. There is no doubt that she worked for is the Israeli Mossad back then. And through her they recruited Imam Ali's killer. By the way, this guy, this guy is insane, even by Shia standards. None of what he's saying is within Shia revayats. Like, there's nothing within Shia ideology that... It was a Khavarij. It was a Kharijite that killed Imam Ali. I had nothing to do... Like, in Islam, there's plenty of things that you, they blame the Jews on. But this was not one of them. <laughs> like I'm, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm being honest here. Okay, like you could find a lot of anti-Jewish material in Islam, but the killing of Imam Ali is not one of those things yeah. that they blame the Jews on. But this guy is like, nope, nope. It was every. Uh, it's all. It's always, always the Jews. So this guy is like more anti-Jewish than Shia narrative. Yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. This guy is more anti-Jewish than even Shiaism is. That's that's a, that's that's a high commitment to being an anti-Semite. Um, yeah, so he's Abdel saying that it was the Kharajite that ended up killing Ali, but it was but all it was set up and initiated a, by this woman who was a prostitute. Not only was she a, a prostitute, she that's, was working for Mossad. Yeah, so the the part that the woman kind of um, made her him do that, I remember that being part of the stories as well. But not, not not Jews, not Mossad. That was not part of the story. That was not at all part of the story. But way to go! This guy's commitment to blaming everything on the Jews <laughs> goes 
<laughs> goes as far as changing Islamic narrative. That's how committed this guy is to blaming everything. I was so excited to cover this story because it's so <laughs> funny to me. I literally texted our editor D. I was like, "You, I'm this. Is, I'm most excited to cover this one. You already know." What <laughs> <laughs> was sad? Oh my god. <laughs> God, this every time, every time you thought like I've seen everything, I've seen everything. They just come with something new. Like yeah, it surprised you. Uh, oh wait, some of the some of the reactions are great. Yeah, so wait, there was saying, one reaction that D found that was so funny. Why was he buying hookers? <laughs> <laughs> Like, if she was a hooker, like, why was he around her? Question mark. Like, I have I have questions. I have concerns. The Kharijite or Imam Hassan? Because Imam Hassan was killed by his wife, though. Um, no, Imam the Ali. The Kharijite. Well, Imam Ali's killer was a Kharijite. So the guy, the fact, uh, both Shias and Sunnis hate the Kharijite. So that guy buying hookers would not be an insult to Islam. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like that. Um, oh, this guy is saying, shame on you Jews. You invented time travel. <laughs> That's what we said. Yeah, you invented time travel and you're hiding it from the world. <laughs> yeah, that's a real that's a real crime here. Like, okay. so the, And also, if you had time machine, then why did you not go back far enough to kill Muhammad instead so we don't have to deal with all this crap? Do you have a point? You could have just yeah. gone one generation further back Further, yeah, yeah, that's the true crime side. I don't understand why didn't you go far back enough? You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.